We are going to take you on a quick series of videos that will provide you with an introduction that puts you on a path to success in learning from the simulations and succeeding in the ResNet practicum. First, we are going to discuss navigating the simulation, getting comfortable with what each button does, how to open and close tabs, and moving efficiently is key for a great simulation experience. When in the simulation, you'll see blue tabs on either side of the screen. On the left-hand side, you'll see the Tools tab, Help tab, and Calculator tab. Click the Tools tab once to see your needed tools and functions within. The Toolbox tab contains your blower door, ruler, tape measure, duct blower, and compass. You'll see each one of these tools in action in the upcoming Tools video. Click the tab again to close it so it moves out of your way to help you focus on the task at hand. The Help tab opens up to display access to all the training materials for each section of the simulation. If you need a refresher or have questions on a specific part of the simulation, click on the link and a document will open up in a neighboring browser tab. Your last tab on the left is the Calculator tab. Though you are not required to use the Calculator tool, it is provided for your convenience if you find it useful. The Calculator tab contains two additional tabs. Click each of these to access a room area calculator and a window area calculator. Always remember to close the tab to allow more viewable space. Don't worry, the calculations will be saved inside the calculator if you need them later. The top tab on the right hand side of the screen houses your clipboard. This is where you will record the field data you are collecting for your rating. The clipboard has several pages of information to complete. The other pages are accessible by clicking on the drop down symbol. I want to note that depending on the size of your computer monitor, you might have to scroll down to access all clipboard pages. The submit results button appears at the bottom of the clipboard. You click this after you finish all the pages in the clipboard and you will be given the choice to end and submit your answers for scoring or cancel to return to the simulation. Please be sure to watch the video in this series focused on the clipboard. You want to be familiar with it and have practice using it come test day. The lower tab on the right hand side of the screen provides a schematic or floor plan of the home you are rating as well as the plumbing, HVAC and lighting plans. Some homes have multiple floors, so there are multiple tabs within this one. The schematic will provide important information about the layout of the home, the number of bedrooms, and the location of the windows and doors within the home. The plan pages provide detailed information and measurements of duct and plumbing runs, locations, and fixture details. Roll your mouse wheel to zoom in and out while viewing plan pages. Click and drag to view specific areas of the plans. And always remember to close the tab if you no longer need the information. We have focused on the interface and understanding how to use each button. Now let's discuss how to move around the sim. The best way to move in the sim is a combination of using your arrow keys, the jump links at the top, and clicking on the glowing red hotspots. In the opening scene, I can use my arrows to walk up to the stairs in the house. I though can also use the jump link for main to jump straight into the main room. Then by clicking on the glowing red hotspots, once I'm in the room, I can easily access the needed information. For example, if I needed to learn info from the crawl space, I would use the jump link for crawl space. Then move with the arrow keys and then click on the blinking red button to learn specific information. We want to note that when you're moving around with the arrow keys, unlike real life, you're able to move through most of the furnishings in the simulated house. This makes it easier to get up and close to window stickers, appliances, etc. You will not, however, be able to walk through solid walls or closed doors. All doors and windows open and close with a click of a mouse. Getting comfortable with moving in the simulation is a best practice that helps you achieve success while learning and taking the practicum. The training modes are a great way to practice moving in the sim, so come test day, you are a natural and ready to ace the test.